guys at Babylon B, uh, you you guys know we've had them on the show before, and they join us every. Well, they join us once a month. They join us on Wednesdays. Kyle Mann, he's the editor in chief of the Babylon B. You can find him at Ky the Kyle Mann, and Ethan Nicole is the creative director, and also the well, Axe Cop is his handle because he also created Axe Cop. They join us from their bunker, which they're in because everything is worse than the Civil War. I feel. I mean, he's probably old enough, guys. And first off, welcome. He's probably old enough to to have ha experienced it himself at this point, but I guess is that the new thing than saying that everything is Hitler? Well, Hitler was well, the Civil news. War. Yeah, Hitler was <laughs> at the Civil War. Was Hitler worse than the Civil War? Was Hit Hitler was probably worse. Probably. Than the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> I had indigestion this morning. It was worse than the Civil War. Wow, <laughs> I knew it was worse than the Civil War. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that I mean, photo, life's not easy. That photo on you of you on Wikipedia. Right. That's worse than the Civil War. It is worse than the Civil it's War. It's also literally Hitler. <laughs> it's also it is. Can, can also be that. Can they also take pictures of they're either talking or eating sandwiches. I rarely talk. I'm always eating sandwiches. So, yeah, I mean so. yeah, sandwiches is a great American pastime. I love yeah. I love sandwiches also and I like making them for me to eat and other people also. But no, I this, because I've heard that we heard that uh, how many times did we how many different audio cuts can did we have of oh, gosh. every lawmaker, the president, uh, Jen Psaki, the White House spokesperson, every lawmaker, even uh, VP Kamala Harris, everyone out there with that with that same talking point. It's this is like the this is the worst thing since the Civil War. This is the I it just almost aren't things bad enough. I mean, are things bad enough that we constantly have to go back and compare everything to the worst moments in human history? I just, I just feel like maybe we should try to be to be better than than doing that. What are what are your guys' thoughts on this? I just like the image of like a Civil War soldier, you know, that's like looking at us from the afterlife, and is like, well, the Civil War is pretty bad, but I'm glad I didn't yeah. have to live through the voter ID laws. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Personally, that's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. really bad. Man, you think we got bad now? Yeah, out here just murdering each other. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty bad. It's it's very it's very hard for people to produce like an ID or get one for free, even from the states that provide them f for free. It's very. I mean, it's just it's just like having to go through apparently what everybody went through during that time. Um, I want to get your guys' opinion on this too. I'm I'm kind of because I I saw this after I got on air. And I want to talk to you also about the we'll get I'm going to ask you about the New York Times thing and, and MailChimp being worse than the Civil War, too. Uh, but I am I'm mad because of two things. First off, Amazon's not doing the Tiger King movie with Nicolas Cage as Joe Exotic because they say it's past due. It's past its due date. It's, it's no longer relevant, which I think Nick Cage as anything is always relevant. And I don't enjoy his acting. I just like the spectacle of it. And then the second thing is Jackie Chan now says that he wants to join the Communist Party of China after he's already made his frillions of dollars in with capitalism. What I want to get your guys take on this on I haven't I, I'm really interested in your opinion on this. Are you guys Jackie Chan fans? Not anymore, probably. I was. Well, <laughs> stop stop dodging the real issue here, Dana. Let's go back to uh, Nicolas Cage and Joe Exotic because that's the real issue here exactly and we, yeah we actually looked at your twitter feed before we came on here and we were like what political issues is dana tweeting about <laughs> and all <laughs> nicholas cage exotic. and joe exotic <laughs> so that's i mean it's worse than the civil war <laughs> Just, sorry to let you it down is. guys i'm sorry I, but i kind of i mean i kind of agree on one level that like that phenomenon of the of the whole tiger king thing was like it, it seems like it lasted for like two weeks Mm -hmm. yeah. And it was only because we were all locked in our houses. That's the only reason we have any of us ever watched. Well, Tiger that it, King. that everybody watched. Everybody it. on the. Planet. It would have been like a niche documentary. Yeah. Like, have you seen Tiger King? And like, no, I'm like, no, I don't watch that stuff. But yeah, everybody watched it because of COVID. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they proved that movie in the first place because. But now that everybody's yeah. seen it, who doesn't want to see Nicolas Cage I mean, as Joe true. Exotic? Right. Like everybody wants to see Nicolas that. I will watch Nicolas Cage in anything. So Amazon. I don't know what they're, th and then you look at what they do make. Amazon, like, what are these? What, who watches any of the stuff they make? It's insane. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that's the role that he was maybe born to play. Not all of the other roles that he has played. Not even in, in National Treasure. I just feel like this is the time. Everything else was just a warm up for this because I cannot think of anything more 
spectacularly, amazingly ridiculous than that. Every, we, really, we just wanted to see him in a shiny shirt and to put on a members-only jacket after someone got their arm eaten off by Tiger. Well, yeah, I, I want to see him s dressed as Joe Exotic but singing in another man's country voice. <laughs> That's Three a layers of greatness right there. <laughs> and, and stealing the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> All at the same time. All at the All same right. time. I so yeah. the oh. issue of the issue of Jackie Chan, and this is like one of the latest celebrities you had. Uh, what was it, John Cena, and then of course Major League Baseball with some of their business contacts and their their, their manufacturing and some of what the, their licensing in China. I get it that he's he's looking at their very lucrative uh, movie market, but at the same time, how? I mean, that's that's how are you? How does this? I, I don't I don't know. Maybe he just loves money more than he loves being consistent or having integrity or anything like that. I'm just, I was just kind of shocked at that. He made his millions with capitalism and now he wants to be a communist. Yeah. Do you, what's your favorite Jackie Chan movie? Do you think this is a stunt? <laughs> this is a stunt. I know he choreographed it. I liked Rush Hour and then I thought that, I, I mean, I liked the fight choreography. What was the one where he was in with, it wasn't Liam Neeson, it was the the uh, the British one and I forget even who was in it, but I thought his character was kind of interesting, but I liked the fight choreography. He was trying to thwart the IRA. Well, he's Shanghai got classics. Noon, Shanghai Nights, I mean, so Operation yeah. Condor, Police Story, all these. I mean, he's just all the early ones are really amazing good. Amazing stuff. I mean, yeah. yeah. So, but then now, oh, I mean, but also we just wanted to say that we really appreciate China and the Communist Party of China, and we would never say anything bad about them. And uh, president, may President Xi live forever. <laughs> Is there a reason why you guys want you guys are celebrating oh. President Xi now? Money, <laughs> just just money. Not, yeah, not. There's like a lot of dying. investors over there. We're just like hoping one of them is watching. Are you right? You hoping that the the Babylon Bee could could maybe go where you know Apple Daily left this giant gaping hole in in, in reporting that maybe the Babylon Bee could go and, and fill that hole it. in their soul. Yeah, like for the right amount of China dollars, we would do it. <laughs> Whatever the dollars are, Whatever the money is those there. dollars. Yeah, it's, China dollars. it's not dollars. <laughs> was, it, was it yuan? Yuan, I think. Is that what they're saying? They're saying Jackie Chan probably could make money by just playing in Chinese yeah, theaters? Yeah, he totally could. Literally it? Yeah, Kane, he totally could. Because they have a frillion theaters over there, don't they? Yeah, they have a frillion people. Well, not that. everybody's allowed to go to the movies, though. That's true. What were your What would your guys' credit, your behavioral credit score be in China? If we all lived in China, what would your guys' behavior, would you be allowed to get you know, on like public transit? That's very doubtful. I don't think I'd fit on public transit in China. <laughs> For the radio audience, morbidly obese. You're not morbidly obese. Oh my gosh, the camera adds no, ten pounds. That's it. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a mean word to, for doctors to add to obese, morbidly. Yeah, so it's mean. very mean. <laughs> you what, never what hear morbidly your... beautiful. You never hear that. Yeah, I thought You're you had a term. Like morbidly people, cancerous. Did you have like people of? Wasn't it like people of morbidity or something that you? I thought you had some term. Yeah, that I was wanted more... to. Yeah, identify as people of morbidity or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we're, we're yeah, yeah. We're working on it. So I, I love these two tweets that you guys had. We, we obviously everything going on in Cuba is this huge news, and then the Democrats here in our Republic of Texas running away and taking pictures of their fruit and trying to troll Fox News as they do it. Uh, the Babylon Bee reports that other states are looking to, to Texas for advice on how to get Democrats to leave. Where do they go though once they leave? <laughs> That's the real problem, because usually Democrats are just leaving California and going to Texas. Yeah. And that's good for us in California, but it's bad for you in Texas. Take them back. They're coming back now? Or yeah. they, where we are need they to landing? reroute that plane back here. Because, yeah. we'll, I mean, we're already screwed. You might as well just send them back here. Yeah, I mean, it like, can't get any worse. Your taxes can't get higher, could they? I mean, probably. Yeah, it's hard to imagine. So just send them back, because, we, you know, we're already at capacity for liberalism, so it doesn't matter. We could have them all land on an island and then make that a reality show and watch them build their own society on oh, that island. Oh, that's a great idea. Wow. They wouldn't even know which bathrooms to use. And then I don't, I, and then it would, I don't know if truth would, everything is my truth. So what's truth when it's all my truth? Which, by the way, I'm going to awkwardly like segue into this, this whole issue with Cuba. But the people right. were out protesting in the streets. Did you hear anyone like getting, like saying, this is my truth and, and using, <laughs> I, someone had said that they could tell that it wasn't a CIA 
like psyop or anything because there were no pride flags out. It was just like the American flag and there was no wokery. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on the whole Cuba situation? Uh, we support the government of Cuba 100% and <laughs> just condemn the protesters who were merely no. protesting. We should be grateful. Vaccines. They wanted more vaccines. Grateful for what they have. And be more they have some of the greatest education and the literacy programs. Have you seen the literacy programs? No. <laughs> the world. Neither of that. You guys are just saying what Bernie said. That's what Bernie yeah. said. It's they have movie, literacy. Yeah. What? Who was it they, that Castro? Yeah, he had all these literacy programs. Well, literacy programs. but how? I mean, they don't have. Oh, oh my God. They, well, they. It's pointless to even have math because cat. I mean, they weren't able to even like earn earn a living or even own property. So really, that was something they didn't even need. Just get math sucks anyway. Just get a just do away with it. It's, yeah, but they could read. So they can like speed read propaganda. <laughs> that's an arts and that's like an arts and crafts hour. Make your own propaganda. For, That's true. Yeah, Cuban education. So tell me, guys, uh, the good news about the New York Times because the New York Times, they they base what did they what did they classify you guys as? They were saying that that you were basically some um, like a, a, a they were suggesting you were essentially a domestic terrorist for the lack of I mean it's just to be honest. You're worse than, <laughs> worse than, the, than Civil the Civil War. War. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they said we were far right misinformation disguised as satire. So like yeah, like our secret costume so like underneath it. We all twirl our mustaches and Just go hissing. <laughs> How can we fool grandmas on Facebook today? Yeah, all right, but preacher. they retracted it. That was the good news. Full retraction. Issued a full retraction and pulled the whole thing and and edited it all. And they tried to do a half traction and then we came after them again. They did. They said no. We demand retraction. full. We said tear down this article, Mr. New York, to Mr. Bob Times of the New York Times. Yeah, Mr. And Mrs. And Times' son. Yeah. Mrs. Oh. Times, right. And we demanded it, and they did it, and so that was a big victory for us. Yeah, we all high fived a bunch. Yeah, that's and hugged, hugged, and high five. Did you get? Do you get like a special award when that happens? Like when you when when people who lie about you when they take it back? Yeah, you get a you get a t shirt and a ten percent off coupon to Golden Corral. I take that. We had participation yeah. trophies too. A little participation yeah. trophy. Yeah, I dig that. I I just don't know how it's misinformation because I I mean like for instance I'm looking at one of your headlines. That you have here, Democrat governors afraid of Cuban that Cuban desire for freedom could spread. But that's true though, because they. I just shared a piece from Politico last year. Seventy-six to five percent. They they register they vote and register as Republican when whenever they immigrate to the United States. That's actually true. You are right. You just said it. Fine. Yeah. We're actually real news under the guise of satire. <laughs> 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 Did you see the New York Times? They had that uh, tweet that said, shouting freedom and other anti-government slogans. Yes. <laughs> Cubans <laughs> took to the streets and cities around the country on Sunday. <laughs> so that's an anti-government slogan. Uh, freedom yeah. is freedom is anti-government. Yeah. I When when Mel, when Mel uh, uh, oh my gosh, in Braveheart, when he was, Mel Gibson was yeah. yelling freedom and Bra he that was an anti-government slogan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically a skinhead. <laughs> Go worse than the that. civil war so Sorry. last question for you guys and if you guys are tuning in we're talking to the guys from babylon b ethan and kyle and i know that we because are we going to do like are we going to do a project together are we going to do something fun because i i would love to do voiceover stuff we were talking about that i can do elmo's yeah. voice i cannot do an australian accent to save my life but i can do yeah. some very convincing almost any other accents Okay. Well, all we need right now is Australians. So. Yeah, we're doing oh, whole Australia. Oh, no. Like, it, uh, uh, yeah, I can't, I don't know anything about football, and I can't do an Australian accent. But I can do everything else. You're not doing anything about Australian football. That's uh, that, actually have the that? next thing we're working on right now. They have their... That's rugby, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I think it is rugby. Yeah, it's rugby. R rugby. And, if, and they don't even pronounce it that like, like It's pronounced like rugby. rugby. It's Rugby. That sounds tough to even say it like that. It sounds like you're going to go crack some skulls. You're Ooh. hired. There you go. <laughs> yeah. For football. So when, when are we going to, well, we'll talk. We'll talk because I, I, I want to I wanna do some voice stuff. I think it would be fun with you guys. Have your people talk to our people. Yeah. You guys, yeah, we will. And I need to get more people to, and, and you guys should get more people so we can have our additional people talk. We should get some people. Yeah. There we'll have go. a whole people. Extra yeah. talks with extra people. <laughs> There you go. Ethan and Kyle, the guys of the Babylon Bee, find them, on, find them on Twitter, the Babylon Bee. And of course, you can go to the Babylon Bee.com as well. Well, we're, we're glad that you guys were vindicated, but I have a feeling that that won't be the last time that that happens. 
either. Thank you guys. Good to see you. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Take Bye. care.